Time now for my next guest. Now, she sang for us earlier, and she's one of these people... She can do it all. She can sing, dance, act her socks off. She can even play the spoons. She's already got three hit movies under her belt, two award-winning musicals, and is now ready to take on the pop charts. Streisand, watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Miss Adina Menzel. Let me hear you. Hold on. Good. Uh, Dana, what a pleasure to meet you, finally. It's so really. nice to be here. Can I... You certainly okay. can. Make yourself a home. Make yourself a... Do you know, I read the book. There's a book called Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. Yes. I read it in San Francisco. And then I heard there was a musical and I thought, this will never work. Right. Nobody's going to feel sympathy for the Wicked Witch of the West, except right. me. Because, no, <laughs> I did sympathise with her. I mean, they were her ruby slippers. They were her sisters. They should have gone to her. Exactly. You know, really, you know, so you do sort of feel sympathy for her. I saw the musical. I was blown over. Thank you. And by the end of it, I was in love. I, I was in love with the witch. I thought, oh, thanks. This green face. <laughs> Re no, really. I mean, the green yeah, makeup. she's lovable. She's misunderstood. She's very misunderstood. Yeah. And it's not her fault she's green, is it? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> How did you feel about the green makeup? That's uh, all I could think. It was, it was fine. It, yeah. it was helpful to get into character. It was, it was late at night once the show was over, and one time, like, Tom Cruise was waiting backstage to say hi, and I was in the shower naked, scrubbing my face to try to get it out because I didn't want to meet all these cute, you know, celebrity guys with my, <laughs> my green makeup. Just... <laughs> Then and there's nothing when you stood in the dressing room and somebody comes in and you go, hey, <laughs> one eye on and one off, isn't it really? <laughs> exactly. Well, sometimes, you know, and if you, well, I shouldn't speak. If you had, you know, any skin stuff going on, it would stick to that. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, it was just, it was And on two glad. show days, it must have been a nightmare. I took it off so I could feel refreshed, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. Chinese food in the middle with the green makeup <laughs> and this is not, not but good. Do you know what amazed me when I saw the show? All the teenagers, teenage girls in yeah. the audience, Absolutely, completely connected with it. I know it's what, a real what, phenomenon. What was it? What was what was that? I think, think it's just about kids feeling alienated and misunderstood. It's about the underdog. It's about inner beauty. Yeah, you yeah. know. And yeah. about them feeling like the ugly duckling. You yes. think? Yes. Because Glindy wanted to slap. Really, didn't <laughs> you? No, you... I did get to sometimes. <laughs> I know, you really did. <laughs> yeah, you, you know, she's like two twins. Like, no, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not in your camp. I'm in the witches' camp, exactly. very much so. Really <laughs> well, look, to satisfy, because we've got a lot of, of wicked groupies in the audience, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> Here you are in all your green Where... glory. Uh -oh. Let's have a look. Where am I? <laughs> It's one of those moments in the show where the hair on the back of the neck goes, uh, as, she, as she slowly elevated in you all the smoke. You can see my cavities on there. <laughs> At least you've got cavities. I haven't have. got any pots in the cupboard. <laughs> 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 now, this is a wonderful album. How long Thank did you. it take you to record it? Uh, a long time. I, I wanted to get it right because yeah. I wanted my uh, theatre fans to not feel like I was making this crazy, you know, departure on them, but I wanted to write my own music and, yeah. and try something new. So about a year and a half on and off. Yeah, and you've written everything on it. Almost all of it. Yeah, yeah. co-wrote it. You're a yeah. clever woman. I'm no, trying. How long does it take you to sit down and write a song? Uh, a, a, well, I work with some really cool people, and usually if you're stuck, a great producer or songwriter will help you, you know, get out of your rut. And so I try to be as free as I can and just... I'm really good with... Um, 
if you, if you have some music and you play it, I can sing along. And I, because I used to be a wedding singer, I used to fake the words to so many songs because <laughs> nobody was listening anyway, you know. So like smooth operator, I used to go coast to coast, uh, yeah, la, 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 la. <laughs> and nobody would know, you know. So I got really good. So when I write songs, a lot of times I just kind of do gibberish writing, <laughs> and we record it. And sometimes real words come out, and then and then phonetically it feels right, and we sort of go, oh, you said the sun and the moon there, and so let's write it about this. Oh, brilliant. What's your favorite track on the album? Um, <laughs> uh, there's a song called My Own Worst Enemy on there. <laughs> and are you your own worst enemy? Um, sometimes I am, but yeah, you know, I we am. all try, yeah, yeah, yeah. try to get out of our own heads, don't yeah. we? Are there any songs here about your husband? <laughs> Lots of things. Yeah, he's right here. I love how you put our I pictures. I know, he is. He is he's old, <laughs> Isn't it distracting to have you looking at yourself the whole time? I'm just saying, like, oh, I wish I did my makeup different day. But, but no, yeah, oh, I miss him. It's been a couple of weeks. I've been here for two weeks. Uh -huh. um, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> about your old man, your husband. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a song in there called Where Do I Begin, which we had this big argument one night, and he said, you know, you better write me a nice song this time, because usually I, I channel my, you know, anger and, and everything into in a into a cool edgy song and so where do I begin as a real sweet like love letter to him you know people say never go to bed angry if you've had a fight I couldn't, couldn't agree more stay up and fight I know but guys <laughs> <laughs> and then make up <laughs> if you don't make up the fight in such form <laughs> I hate you <laughs> just because he's, he's very busy with this TV show isn't he so. yeah he's doing a new show it's the Grey's Anatomy spin-off uh, called private practice and he's playing a doctor and he yeah. always has to get all of his medical terms right and he freaks out at night I'm always running lines with him and he's trying to say these words that you we've never heard of. <laughs> Doc <laughs> Doctors and nurses. <laughs> Adina's husband, he's a gay icon isn't he? he, he Yes. We're both gay, I You know. are, you are. <laughs> We're very proud of that in our house. Do you know what I am, Adin? I'm a daikon. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I played a lesbian, this, too. This is it. All the gay girls love me, and I'm delighted because I love them. <laughs> I think, when trouble breaks out, I want the girls behind me. That's what I want. I say when trouble breaks out, I want the boys behind true, me. True, true, right. Is, but, that, is that how you... But, yeah, he's gorgeous, yeah. my husband. Yeah. He is. He's a I took it away from my color. husband. He's, yeah. he's gorgeous, and they do love him. But, you know, unfortunately, they always make him take off his shirt or his, you know, pants in some movie that he's in. And he's, he's getting a little tired of that because he actually well, very you love it. Come talented. on. Yeah, I love, I love being in the movies and watching a sex scene and having everyone stare at me <laughs> to see what my reaction is while he's, you know, kissing but, some woman or doing more than that. So. Bert's always saying to me, take your clothes off and sit on there. <laughs> What's the fight for Bert has just gone? <laughs> like he's just opened the fridge and discovered a nine-day trifle. <laughs> Only because I know you've got legs like me, and I'm oh, like... Oh! My legs are like two wood bands hanging out the packets. I am not showing them. <laughs> skinny, skinny, skinny. I wore these boots for you. My friend said that yeah. I should wear really good shoes when I was on They're your fabulous. show. They're fabulous. I was nervous. Can you see? They're them. a little purple, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah. So how long are you over for? How long are you in the country I'm for? here till the end of the month. I'm promoting my album, as, yeah. as we said. Yeah. It, it's coming out in the beginning of October on the 13th, I think. And so uh, just I went to your town. I met with some Scouses? Is that You've how been I to Liverpool. Scouses. Yeah, yeah, I did a radio show there where it was my first radio show in the UK ever. I show up, it's in Liverpool, and I forget the guy's name is going to kill me if he watches this, but the first thing he does, he takes out a scale. Pete Price, was it? Was it Pete Price? No. no. Uh, uh, I don't know. But he takes out a scale and he goes, uh, we didn't warn you about this, but um, we're going to do something called the Scales of Truth. And I said, okay. And you know, I want to be charming and likable. I wanted to play my song, and so I don't say anything. Takes out a real scale, puts it on the floor, and makes me stand on it, weighs me, <laughs> announces it on the show in kilograms. Thank God I don't know <laughs> what that is. And, and then asks me my age. I do apologize, like, Adina. Welcome to Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Liverpool, exactly. <laughs> Adina, it's a real treat to meet you. It I'm really so is. Happy I to admire you so much, seriously. Thank you. Watching I you up on you. the stage, and I just think. The voice, there's a pro. No, really, there's somebody who can do it all, really. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Adina Menza. Thank you. And don't forget the album. Yeah. <laughs> and Miss Streisand, watch this, because I know you're a huge fan. I am, I love her, Streisand. I love, love her. her, yeah. But it's the voice, I'm sorry, it is. Yeah. Now, in a moment, find out what the P team 